Snagit offers many different ways to capture. The capture settings applied depend on how you start your capture. So let's take a look at different capture states within Snagit. First, this is the capture with the capture window. When you click the red capture button here within the capture window, Snagit will begin a capture based on the preferences that are selected here. In this case, we've got the all-in-one tab selected, preview and editors turned on, copy to clipboards turned off, capture cursor is on, and so on and so forth. Whatever state the capture window is in, when you click that red capture button, that's the type of capture that will be started. The second type of capture is capturing with a hotkey. Here in the capture window, there's the global hotkey, which in this case is print screen. It will take a capture based on the capture preferences that are set up as we see. Snagit will remember, however, the last capture state it was in. So in this case, I'm in all in one. But if I was doing a series of image captures and then left to go do something else and hit my global hotkey, in this case, the print screen button, Snagit would remember that I was last taking an image capture and it would capture based on the preferences shown. If you want to change what happens when the capture button is clicked or the global hotkey is selected, come back to the capture window and change your preferences here. Another way you can use a capture hotkey is by creating a preset right here from the capture window. This is where you can set different effects and different types of captures, and you can actually add a specific hotkey for your use case, depending on how you want to initiate that capture. You also have the ability to turn on one click, which is another capture state within Snagit. From the capture window, simply select view and choose show one click. One click will find itself either on the top or sides of your screen, depending on its previous position. This will allow you to use the default capture settings, regardless of which options are set in the capture window. So if I hit the capture button here, whatever the default setting is for our capture window is the type of capture that will be started.